Hello people, in this video, let us look at blood supply of conjunctiva. So you know what conjunctiva is, right? We have what and all we have seen so far. First, let us look at that. We looked at what conjunctiva is, right? Then we looked at what, um, the parts of conjunctiva, right? Palpebral conjunctiva, bulbar conjunctiva, conjunctival fornix. Under that so many parts we saw. Then we saw what conjunctival sac means. Then we saw the structure of conjunctiva, the epithelium, the adenoid, the fibrous layer, right? Then we saw what is special about these layers, how they are different in different locations. Then we saw the glands of conjunctiva. Then we saw what plica semilunaris is. Then we saw what caruncle is. Now we are moving on to blood supply of conjunctiva, right? So basically, blood supply of conjunctiva, the sources, the sources are the peripheral, arterial, arcade, the marginal arcade of eyelid and the anterior ciliary arteries. First of all, we will try to locate these. So, peripheral arterial arcade, right? Where is this? Peripheral arterial arcade. So, the peripheral arterial arcade is here. Okay, the peripheral arterial arcade is here. What about the marginal arcade of eyelid? The marginal arcade of eyelid somewhere here. The marginal arcade of eye. Okay. Then this one seems to have an ascending branch. Okay. Then you have some subconjunctival plexus. We'll come to all that. So here you have the marginal arcade. This is the peripheral arcade. Okay, then you have the anterior ciliary arteries. So, anterior to the ciliary. So, anterior ciliary arteries. So, have you understood this much? The peripheral arterial arcade, the marginal arcade and the anterior ciliary arteries. Mainly these three. So, next, the palpebral conjunctiva and fornices are supplied by branches of the peripheral and marginal arterial arcades of the eyelids. So, they are saying... The palpebral conjunctiva and the fornix. So, this is the palpebral conjunctiva, right? Guess you know what the palpebral conjunctiva is. This is the palpebral conjunctiva and this is going to be the fornix. These two are going to be supplied by what? Obviously, by the peripheral and the marginal arterial arcades. It is pretty clear from the diagram. What about the bulbar conjunctiva? Now, coming to the bulbar conjunctiva, it is supplied by the Posterior conjunctival arteries, which are branches of the arcades, right? So, you have the posterior branches of these arcades and then you from the anterior ciliary arteries, you have some arteries. Anterior conjunctival arteries, which are coming from the anterior ciliary arteries. Is this clear? Is it difficult to understand, guys? Focus, guys. Just three sources are there. The Peripheral arterial arcade, the marginal arcade of the eye, right? And the anterior ciliary arteries. The posterior branches of these, okay? And the anterior branches of these will supply something, right? So, the bulbar conjunctiva, the bulbar conjunctiva is supplied by what? The posterior conjunctival arteries, which are branches of the arcades and then you have the anterior conjunctival arteries which are branches from the anterior ciliary artery okay so posterior branches of the arcades and the anterior branches of the anterior ciliary arteries and here there are some anastomoses also between these posterior conjunctival arteries and the anterior conjunctival arteries okay they form some pericorneal plexus So now let us move on to veins guys. The veins from the conjunctiva dry, drain into the venous plexus of eyelids. Okay. So where will they drain into? Some venous plexus of the eyelids they will drain into. They will drain some in around the cornea into anterior ciliary veins. So what will they drain into? Anterior ciliary veins. Right. They will drain into anterior ciliary veins. Venous plexus of the eyelids and some around the cornea. Okay, so this is the venous drainage. Then coming to the lymphatics, lymphatics of the conjunctiva. Let us look at the lymphatics of the conjunctiva. 
So lymphatics of the conjunctiva are arranged into two layers, the superficial layer and the deep layer. So you have two layers guys, superficial layer and the deep layer, superficial and the deep. You always have such things, right? Superficial and the deep. So let us say superficial and deep. The lymphatics from the lateral side drain into the preauricular lymph nodes and those from the medial side into the submandibular lymph nodes. So guys, so the lateral side preauricular lymph nodes, medial side submandibular lymph nodes. Okay. In the next video, let us look at the nerve supply of conjunctiva. Okay. Bye-bye.